Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner babes. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Welcome back to the channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Friday, December the 8th, and we're vlogging today. I'm gonna. I'm going to take you along on the, today's journey, and it begins like this, dragging myself out of bed. I slept in today. It's about 8 o'clock. I should get up. I usually get up around 6 to 7, but I've been going to sleep like close to 1, sometimes 2 in the morning for the last couple of days, so I've been exhausted, and I slept in today, and I'm going to sleep in this entire weekend. Thank the Lord. God is good. But yeah, I need to get up. Oh, let's do this. Okay, we managed to get up. Oh my goodness, that was a struggle. Just had breakfast with Steven and mom. And now I think I'm gonna go film a video. Um, my little filming setup is in the garage. So I'm gonna head there right now, I'll film a quick video, do my makeup, and then prep to go to work. I'm gonna drive up to Riverside today. And actually, Stephen is coming with me because um, today, Friday afternoon, my department has a pie and chili cook-off and we're bringing a chili. So everyone's either bringing a chili or a pie and then we're all just going to eat it together and it's going to be a fun little department celebration. We're just going to hang out with um, the friends in the department and just like other professors and students in the department and it'll be a good time. So we're going to do that today. So that is at 4 p.m. I think we want to leave around noon so that we can beat traffic going there. Then we're going to hang out there, work for a bit, and then have the pie and chili cook-off. I think that goes until like 6, 6.30, and then we're going to head home. Probably get home closer to 7.38, and then we're just going to settle in for the night. Okay, let's go film that video. I'm going to show you my setup while I'm at it too. So let's go to the garage. Okay, so this is the garage. This is where I have my filming set up, my craft corner. And right now my garage is a little bit messy because we are in the middle of organizing it and decluttering and all that. But um, it was even messier before and I got some of it under control, but now it is, uh, it's still a little bit messy. I need to put away that box. We need to figure out what's going on over there. I'm donating that box. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. So this is my craft corner right here, and it's composed of like a storage rack, a bookshelf, a little drawer set, and a table. And so this is my filming setup. It's always a bit messy, but my filming setup is definitely very, very simple. But it works for me. It's worked for me for years, and it's crazy to me how simple a filming setup can it be. So I think that's my number one tip for anyone looking to make videos is you do not need a fancy setup. You just need a setup that works and even the most simple like jury rigged chaotic uh, setups might work better than some of those, you know, setups that you can get on Amazon or something like that. So here, let me turn on the light so you can see a little bit more about what, what I'm working with. Okay, so there is my setup all lit up. And so how I have it um, set up is I have this planter. This is the star of the show. This is a planter, like an outdoor planter stand. You put plants on this. And I found that it was the perfect height from where to balance my tripod for it to give me a really nice um, perspective or view from the top of a planner. It literally is a little planter stand that is kind of ugly. It's just metal. It's really rusty. It's old. It cost me a few dollars at a thrift store. And I actually was using it for plants. And then one day I thought about potentially using it as a stand. And then, okay, super, super jinky, my tripod, which I, I have this um, flexible tripod. I got this off of Amazon and I do really like it because I'm able to really maneuver the legs really easily because they're that really thick rubber. You can twist and turn the legs to do whatever you want. So I have this little octopus tripod at the top and it's being held there by this massive rock and my little uh, frog beanie baby. So this massive piece of quartz crystal is holding this tripod in place because um, 
the tripod is too short and the um, phone when it's placed here is too heavy for it to really be balanced properly so it needs a really heavy weight on the very end of its legs for it to hold this position but this is like the perfect position for me and it's worked for me for years since the beginning of the ch this channel i have used this planter and this tripod and this rock as my base filming setup and then for lighting, I have three lights. I have two odd lights that I got from Hobby Lobby. So these are crafting sewing lights. They're very, very bright. They are a little bit pricey. I think each one is about $35 or $40. I forget exactly how much they are. And I also have this um, ring lights tripod stand. And I think this is the perfect amount of light. I probably could do with another light, maybe another ring light on that side to balance out the light. But in general, I tend to do well with all of these lights. Okay, and so usually I have whatever I'm working on here in the center. And then over here is a new addition. This is still kind of a mess because I filmed yesterday. I'm going to film today, so I didn't really clean up too much. But this is my Michael's um, art caboodle thing. I'm so happy I picked this up. I was back and forth like on the fence about this because it is a little bit pricey. I think it was $35 or so. But it's definitely changed the game for me. I used to have like these desk organizers here in the center and they just got so, so messy and really hard to move around. And I just love this caboodle thing. It organizes things so well and I'm just such a huge fan of it. And then over here, I have a little like wooden drawer set. I have washi tape in here. I have stickers. I have more washi tape in here. And then I have two mugs. I love these types of like um, Mexican, they're called taza cebado, so clay mugs. I have a bunch of these. I like using them to hold all of my markers, pens and such. And then I have a candle back here and then my speakers back here as well. I like to listen to music when I doodle, when I draw. And then over here, I just have some cute little things hanging from my stand to disguise how ugly it is. And I have my mild liners here and my pens over here. This is a mug that I got in the mystery bundle. I have my Tombows, color pencils, um, just a random little bag back there in case I ever want to fill up a bag of crafting supplies and go on the go with it. This is my mess right here. This is another little wooden organizer and it has a lot of my like currently using or want to use soon stuff. I really need to go through this and organize it. This is going to be a job for the weekend, I think. I have my little um, coaster here, another little mug, and then I have my pencil case. And then this is a crafting tote that I got on Amazon, and I really, really like it. This is a lot of my like planner stuff that I kind of want right on hand. So I have a lot of sticker storage books, um, stickers, a book that I'm using to doodle. I got this at Barnes & Nobles. I've been using that quite a bit. My Cavacito Designs planner is right here, a ruler. And then I have my current classic planner set up, Franken planner here in its uh, zip folio case. And then I have three uh, sticker storage cases, Happy Planner sticker storage, planner storage, um, box things. So this is the one I got in the floral bundles. I just filled it with stickers. And then I have the, uh, two of the homebody sticker storage setups. And then this sticker storage box right here is full of my like essential stickers. So these are ones I use pretty consistently. I have essential dates and numbers like alpha font. I have fitness. Um, I have all my food related stickers. Yeah, these are some of my like workhorse sticker books. And then back there I have more stickers and other stuff, other goodies. So this is the table that I work on all the time. And then over here are just basically all of my other crafting supplies, all of my planners, all of my art books, sticker books. Um, I have all my stamps down here. And yeah, I just have tons and tons of stuff here. Scrapbook paper, art materials, paint, markers, you know, I have it all. This is my little corner here. And yeah, that's my setup. So I'm going to throw my phone up into the tripod and film another video. I just finished filming this yesterday, my Dia de los Muertos spread, and I need to start catching up on my spreads. So I'm going to be filming the setup for November 6th through the 12th. And so that's what you're going to see uh, today or tomorrow, depending on how long it takes me to film and edit. So let's 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 get started. 
So this is the spread that um, I ended up doing for this last video and it turned out super cute. I'm very happy with it. And I quickly wanted to show you all this little table over here. This is my setup that I'm going to start selling stickers from. Um, I want to set up a little table like at farmer's markets or at art walks or zine fests or wherever vendors, crafty vendors are appreciated and allowed. I want to start setting up my little stand and selling my own stickers. And I've been collecting items at like thrift stores, Target, and just figuring out like exactly what I want to, how I want to present my little stand. I'm prepping for a little craft fair we're having in our department uh, next week. So this weekend I'm going to be printing and cutting tons of stickers. And I have some here already that I've been just putting into the little like containers just to get a sense of how I want to organize things. I think I'm going to offer both large medium and small sticker sheets so this is going to be the large size and this is just a design that I made earlier this week just a little stack of books kawaii books I'm still figuring out exactly how I want to package things um, but this is going to be the large sticker sheet and then these are going to be the medium sticker sheets this is like a happy planner style sticker sheet and then we're going to have the small sticker sheets which are going to fit into these smaller um, bags and then I also I'm going to have like one-off stickers so these are going to be like my hollow stickers super super cute I colored all this this is a coloring book design that I colored in and then I scanned and made a sticker and then this is my honeybee sticker I drew this colored it love this one and then also of course I have my kawaii goncha stickers uh, so yeah this is my little setup and I'm really excited to start selling my own stickers Okay, and then I need to give the pugs some dog food. I need to empty out this big bag of food into the dog bin. So let me do that. Okay, we managed to make it to the car. It has been a whirlwind. A million and one things to do before heading out, but we finally made it. We're driving up to Riverside. We're about an hour away, and Steven's here with me. How are you doing, Steven? Uh, I'm hanging in there. It's Friday, so I'm pretty yeah. happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's um, thank God it's Friday. But I'm also a little bit stressed out because I feel like I haven't done enough work this week. Uh, I've just been really tired. I've been staying up really late. I've been doing a lot, and I just haven't been sleeping a lot. And I just haven't. It's been really hard to focus. I don't think I've been working as productively as usual. So I feel like going into the weekend, I, there's a lot of things I still want to finish. So hopefully, we'll get some time to finish those things. Um, before the chili cook-off at four with my it's a pie and chili cook-off and I was gonna bring a pie but just there's no time so we just made a chili it is what it is and now we're just driving up and I am getting my makeup together I love doing my makeup in the car when I can when Steve is driving so I'll just get my makeup together and uh, yeah we'll get to campus in about an hour and I will see you there. Okay, we made it to UC Riverside. I'm here in my office. I completely forgot to vlog. I was getting here and I was in the middle of doing something and then I remembered that I was supposed to be vlogging today. So this is basically what my vlogging style is. Again, if I wasn't doing vlogmas, I think I would definitely just have scrapped this footage because I feel like it's too chaotic. It's not going how I envisioned it, but it's important to push through these setbacks. So I'm just here with Steven in the office. Hey, Steven. Hey, how you doing? Just doing work over here. And yeah. then we have the chili and pie um, cook off for the department at four. So we're just getting some work done before then. And then we're going to head downstairs to check out the cook off. Are you excited, babe? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, uh, I'm nervous about the competition. Though. Steven made a chili. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Oh, so we're just gonna get back to work and, um, and yeah let me show you my planner my work planner so this is my desk setup here i have my work planner right now i have the woodland seasons cover on it this is a big sized planner and yeah i just threw down some stickers right now second half of the week is always a little bit emptier than the first half of the week 
but I have my sticky notes, a bookmark. Um, I have my office set up here. So this is my little office setup. I have my monitor, keyboard, my laptop, some nice lamps, a whiteboard, a coffee, a kettle. And oh, I also brought my Zipfolio. It has all my stickers that I like to bring with me to work. And right now I'm using my Empowering Woman sticker book and also trying to finish up this Happy Goals sticker book. But uh, yeah, oh, and I have my um, Oasis notepad here. But this is the setup. So I'm so stressed out with work right now, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So back to work. Hola, hola, hola. We're back. We're home with the Christmas tree. Oh, it looks so good, all lit up. Oh my goodness, everyone. We just got home. We, well, we've been home for like an hour. This is honestly a messy vlog, but like I said, trying to push through it. If this was not Vlogmas, I would have deleted this footage and I would say, nope, that's a wrap. This is not worthy of anyone seeing this, but I'm trying to push through and just publish and create and be okay with just whatever I put out there. Anyways, um, we got home like an hour ago. I didn't even film anything at the department pie and chili cook-off. It was so much fun. There were so many people, so, ama so many amazing chilies, so many amazing pies. It was, I got to see a lot of my friends. It was, it was amazing, amazing. I'm so sad though, I didn't, I didn't vlog anything. Anyways, we got home like an hour ago, like I said, but actually me and Steven sat down and worked through a math problem. I just was having so much trouble with my data. The analysis wasn't really working. I wasn't sure it was going on mathematically. And Steven being the big math brain he is helped me out, helped me understand what was going on. We solved it and now we're gonna go walk the pugs and we're gonna take a little IPA on the road while we go walk them. Hey babe. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> How do you feel being a big math brain? Oh. <laughs> don't don't mention it. I, uh, I aspire to be dumber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for a walk. Gonna take the pugs out for a stroll. Maybe check out some Christmas lights and we'll be back in a bit. Hello, we're back. We just got back from walking the pugs and I'm just here hanging out by the Christmas tree. We're gonna make a fire. Steven went to go get some beer. And we're just gonna have a cozy night in. I still need to edit the video from this morning, so I'm gonna do that. I wanna edit this vlog as well, so I'll probably just be editing for the rest of the night. And yeah, it's just gonna be a quiet night in, and uh, I think I'll end the vlog here because I'm at my limit. My last brain cell has evaporated but thank you so much for checking out this vlog i really appreciate it i hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe god bless you and your family have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you mañana adios